Hey everyone. In this video, I wanted to introduce a new resource I've put together to try and help people learn Azure and provide some kind of structure to what should I learn first, what certifications should I take, and what other kind of materials are available. As always, if this is useful, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and kind of hit that bell icon to get notified of new content. So most people probably know I have a YouTube channel. You're here right now. Now, on that YouTube channel, I have huge amounts of different types of content. I have kind of a key content list you can see down here, things like my Azure Masterclass, DevOps Masterclass, PowerShell Masterclass, Getting Started with Azure, um, Certification Exam Prep videos, there's my weekly update, I post deep dives. If you go to the playlists, well, there's things like my AZ-104 study list, there's AZ-700 study list. Huge amounts of content. So just massive amounts of stuff that may help you. So exam crams, overviews. And you can just go and browse that channel. But a lot of people have kind of asked, well, okay, I'm starting out. What, out of all that content, what should I watch first? What other resources are available to me? Could be my stuff. Uh, it could be things on Microsoft Learn. It could be when is a good time to take a certain exam. So, I've created a, a website. So this is learn.onboardtoazure.com. It's completely free, there's no adverts on it. In fact, we can kind of jump over and see that right now. And it, it's just really a curated set of content. So again, it's just learn.onboardtoazure.com. I'm actually hosting this on an Azure Static web app. So it's all client side, it's JavaScript. And a huge shout out to one of my oldest and best friends, Tim Aronke. He actually did the heavy lifting to create the, the JavaScript for this. And what essentially I'm doing in this is I'm laying out a suggested path. So what's happening on this is you can kind of see where there's fundamentals. So kind of what is Azure, um, how to think about learning it, how to get a free account, cert posters, and then using links to, for example, here, it's gonna go and link to the Microsoft On Demand page, and it's recommending go through this free learning. So everything I'm referencing here is free. Then it's, hey, my study cram. And what's actually happening here, like a YouTube video, you select it once to actually go and get the YouTube object. For performance reason, it just gets a thumbnail. And then either I could actually go ahead and watch it actually in the app, I could go full screen or I could just go and watch it on YouTube instead. So you have different options for that. And so it's really just a guided path. And what you can actually do optionally is after you've watched, so you can kind of check this box. So that's gonna gray it out. Now it's using a local cookie. I'm not storing anything on the back end. It's only a local cookie for now, which means if I use a different browser, it's not gonna continue that progress. I am, this is very much an early, early version. I'm just kind of putting it out there to help people now. Longer term, I'm trying to work out ways to actually make that cookie or that progress maintained. Maybe you can export and import it. Maybe I'll have some option to, hey, you can authenticate. But right now I don't want to store any data. So this is just a pure client side thing. But it's going to guide you through really a suggested path of what I can do. So you can go and watch the videos. Hey, go and get the account, look at the cert posters. Hey, study preps, take the exam, start tracking weekly updates and just work your way through. Now, sometimes I'm gonna to link to things like a repo. And I still recommend you go and look at these because for example, in this case, the readme file has tons of other video recommendations that I don't put in the app for maybe deeper dives in certain areas. And I constantly update this as well. So my plan is to kind of update this set of curated content periodically, well, probably frequently. You can see in the top right corner, I actually put the date of when I've updated it, or when I've added it to this curated set. So it's very easy to quickly go and check, hey, what's new since kind of the last time I went here. You can also view certain types of content. So there is this kind of drop down. So in this drop down, I could say, hey, I just want to see, for example, exam crams. So it will just show you the exam crams you can quickly get to. Or maybe I just want to see where I'm recommending certain exams to take. 
or I can just go back and look at everything. So again, it's it's really just a curated set. There's nothing, there's not additional content here, but it's a way to give you a path. If you wanted it, again, you can still just go and use the YouTube channel directly. But if you're curious about, hey, John, what would your recommendation be for what MS Learn material to use? When should I take certs? Which of your videos are most useful? Uh, I'm trying to lay that out in this. Again, today, it's all super simple. It's all client-side JavaScript. But please, please still, again, I've got a lot of work goes into these things. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps support me to actually know, hey, it's useful. And I may in the future, people have asked before about some kind of completion, digital certificate type things. And maybe I'll work out some way to track how you've watched 80% of all the videos, how you've completed the masterclass or something, give a little completion. So there's things we're playing with. Um, but again, there's never any cost or advertising on this. So how can I do these things for free? So I, I'm always looking at that, but this is it. What I am looking for is feedback on the, the site. I don't want feedback on, hey, please create a video on this. I'm not looking for that. This is about, hey, the usage of this site, it would be great if X, Y, or Z. So if you do have feedback, please post us a comment to this, but I hope this is useful. Again, it's just another way I'm trying to, people have asked, hey, what's your recommendation? This seemed like a good way for me to do it. You can kind of check off your process and where I should go and plug into the MS Learn stuff and take credentials. Uh, and that was it. So good luck uh, with your Azure learning and uh, thanks for your time. Take care.